communication is such a key part of life. Around half the number of children starting school each year may not have the communication or language skills expected for their age. This means they may struggle to understand what's said to them, to talk, to make their needs known, to ask for help and to make friends. Okay, Abigail, so what you need to do is, you need to have a look at this menu, you need to choose what you want for your lunch, then you need to go up to the counter and you need to ask the dinner ladies for what you want for your lunch and then they'll get it for you, okay? Do you understand, Abigail? If children don't get the right support, they won't catch up with other children their age. Their difficulties might continue and they could struggle to learn to read and write. There could even be serious lasting effects as they grow up right through into adulthood. Over a third of children who don't have good communication and language skills can struggle to make friends and become socially isolated and lonely. They may struggle with their mental health. For example, they may become very anxious or depressed. They could also be more vulnerable to being victims of crime. Children and young people don't always have the language skills to say how they're feeling. Sometimes this is shown in the behaviours that we see. If you don't have good communication and language skills, it's hard to negotiate and express your feelings using words. Poor language and communication skills can be a risk factor for committing a crime. Some young people end up in the criminal justice system. Around two thirds of young people in young offenders facilities have difficulties around understanding and communication. Poor language and communication skills at a very young age can predict life prospects right into adulthood. For many, it can be difficult to do well in school, find a job, and then hold on to a job. But it doesn't have to be like this. As a parent, carer, teacher, or anyone around a child, you can help change all this. We need your help. We need you to make a big difference in our lives. I love it when my mum and dad play with me and my toys. I like when Auntie Ellie talks to me and plays with me. It's great when my support worker just spends time with me and talks to me. And I like playing with my mom and gardening with my papa and papa talks to me. Did you know that research shows that by the time the average child reaches seven years old, they'll have spent one whole year of 24 hour days looking at screens. This includes phones, tablets, games consoles, and television. That is like spending a whole year of my life looking at a screen with nobody talking to me. It's so important to take time just to talk to your child and to play with them. Talk to them about what they're doing, name things, describe things to them, and they'll learn so much. It's as simple as that. And these moments are so precious. He sits up at home with a hot band at 12. Sometimes my mum goes on her phone and doesn't listen to me. If a grown-up hardly ever spent time talking to me, I'd feel lonely, left out, and as if no one ever cared about me. I would feel sad. Lonely. Sad. As angry as a T-Rex. Very, very upset. So make a difference in a child or young person's life today. Help them have better life prospects. Have those precious moments. Please help. Yes, we feel started. Yay! Thank you. If you're concerned about a child's language or communication skills, or would like advice on how to support them, you can phone or text our Speech and Language Therapy Helpline on a Thursday afternoon between 2 and 4 p.m. The number is 07980 We'd be happy to help. You can also find loads of great tips, advice, and videos on our Facebook page 
speech and language therapy in East Ayrshire. Hashtag getting wee people chatting. Bye bye. Bye bye.